It's a beautiful day for remote learning, a beautiful day for a lesson. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a studently day in this beauty wood, a studently day for a lesson. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a student just like you. I've always wanted to teach in a classroom with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, might as well say, would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my student? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't you be my student? Hi everyone, welcome back to Miss Nichols' Neighborhood. It's me, your teacher, and I'm here with my best remote teacher helper, my sister Kaylee Nichols. Hi. Hi guys. As you'll be seeing in your learning package, we're wrapping up our work on addition and subtraction strategies. You'll see what's called fluency practice. That's when you're given quite a few addition or subtraction, or maybe both, of those problems, and you're asked to solve them. Now, I wanted to hop on here and make a little lesson video with some reminders about your subtraction and addition strategies you've learned to hopefully help you feel more ready for fluency practice, okay? Let's go ahead and refresh our memory on some things. Up here, this is the plus sign. Okay, let's all say plus. 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 Good, Kaylee. That means we're doing addition. You have two numbers. They're joining together to make a bigger number. Addition. Some of our addition strategies are we can count on. Start with the big number and count on. Add on. We can use a number line to add. We can use double spats. Hopefully, as we're seeing more and more addition, we're learning some double spats that we just kind of are learning to know. We're able to recall or remember quickly. We can also use near double spats to help us solve addition. That's when you recognize something that's really close to a double spat, but you just have to add or subtract a little bit. Then, let's look over here. This sign is the minus sign. But I prefer for this grade level to say take away. Let's practice saying that. Say take away. Take away. Again, take away. Take away. That means you're doing subtraction. You have a whole. You have a number. You take some away, your answer is smaller than the first number. Whole, take some away. Minus, subtract them. What you're left with is your answer. That's subtraction. Some of our subtraction strategies or tools to help us become quicker and quicker with subtraction is counting back. Start at the number you're subtracting from and count back. We can use a number line. We can also use related facts like our fact families. Or if we know the double facts addition, we can then use that in our subtraction. Okay? I know this might seem like, well, Miss Nichols, this is a lot. But basically, my main goal is to walk you through seeing addition and subtraction problems and reminding you you have choices on how you want to solve the problem. We don't all have to solve the problem the same way. Maybe in subtraction you always love to count back. Then do that. I really like to use number lines, so I might use the number line. Whatever you need to do to solve the problem, please do it, okay? This will just be a short little review of using some of these strategies. That way, when you go to your learning packet, it will hopefully be fresh in your brain how to do addition plus and subtraction. So let's go ahead, look at our first problem. And one more thing, if when you're looking at your problems of fluency practice, if all the problems are too much, get another piece of paper 
to put on top of your paper so you're only looking at one problem at a time. I don't want you to get overwhelmed with too much, okay? Let's look at our first problem. I just have one problem up here for right now. You're going to read it with me, okay? Ready, set, read with me. Five, take away, so we know we're doing subtraction, take away, three, equal. Five, take away, three, equal. Maybe you already know this. You're like, yeah, I got five fingers, I can do this. Maybe you want to use one of our subtraction strategies. I'm going to try one right now. If you see this problem and want to do a different strategy, that's totally okay. I'm going to use count back to help me solve it. I know I'm starting with five. Then I know I'm going to take away three. So I'm going to draw three circles to help me keep track as I count back. Okay? So I'm subtracting from 5. So I know I start with 5. I need to count backwards. What number comes before 5? 4. So I'm going to write that there so I keep track of it. 4. What comes before 4? 3. And what comes before 3? We count backwards. Five, four, three, two. two. There we go. And that was my last circle. I was keeping track of my numbers and the last number I wrote. So I can easily see five take away three equals two. two. Yes. So I write a two right here. Or if you really need to, you could have drawn five circles. One, two, three. 3, 4, 5, then subtracted 3. 1, 2, 3, and seeing that you had 1, 2 left. Any strategy you need to do, but we're just trying to become quicker and quicker and more and more accurate or correct on our subtraction problem. Let's get ready for our next problem. Okay. Here we are with our next problem. Let's go ahead and read it so that we see what problem we're doing. Always double check what sign you see. Ready, set, read with me. Six plus, so we know we're doing addition, plus four equals. Six plus four equals. This is when we think back in our memory and decide how do I want to solve the addition problem. I could count on, I can make a number line. I don't think this is a doubles fact, and it's not quite a near doubles fact. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to count on. Okay? Remember, count on, you start with the bigger number, six, and then you count on this many more. I'm going to draw four circles to help me keep track as I count on. That means I start at six and I keep counting. Okay, so I have six. If I add on or count on, what number comes after six? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Then what comes next? Six, seven, eight. eight. Good. And then what comes next? Nine. Nine. Good. Keep counting on. What comes after nine? Ten. Yes. And that was me adding on or counting on four more. Six, then seven, eight, nine, ten. What was the last number I wrote down there? Six. Ten, yes. So six plus four equals ten. Sorry, I didn't write that very well. And I can double check it. I could make circles. I could use my fingers. I can say, okay, I have six fingers and add four more. One, two, three, four. And see, yep, there's my ten fingers. Got it right. Any way you need to solve these fluency problems are totally okay. Let's get ready for another one. Ooh. Here's our next problem. Let's read it carefully. Because in fluency practice or just any time we're doing math, 
we always want to make sure we're very careful of if we're doing addition, subtraction, or something else. Okay? Let's look up here and read the problem. Ready, set, read with me. Seven. Take away, add subtraction, take away, two equals. Seven, take away, two equals. I'm remembering, I'm seeing the take away sign. So that means I have to do subtraction. I could count back, I could do a number line, related facts maybe. I think this time, I'm going to try a number line. But if you want to do a different strategy or way to solve the problem, please do. Okay? I'm going to do a number line. That means I draw my number line. I'm going to go all the way up to 7. So that's the number I subtract from. So I draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And it doesn't have to be perfect, just able for me to read it to solve the problem. Mm -hmm. I remember when I'm using a number line to subtract, I start at 7, the number I'm subtracting from. And how many am I going to go back, Kaylee? Uh, two. Two, good. So I'm going to go that way towards the smaller number because we're taking away. Our, number will be, our answer will be smaller. So 1, 2. Circle where I land on. What number is that, Kaylee? I say five. Five, yes. Seven take away two equals five. Seven take away two equals five. Okay. We solved that using a number line. Maybe you wanted to just quickly use your fingers like seven take away one, two, and see you ended up with five. Maybe you wanted to draw circles or count back. That's okay. Any way you need to solve these problems, just try your best and do them, okay? Let's do a few more. Okay. Here's our next problem. Let's go ahead and read it carefully, see what we're doing. Ready, set, read with me. Five plus, okay, we're doing addition. Five plus five equals. 5 plus 5 equals. Hmm. There's a lot of addition strategies I could use. I see though that 5 and 5 are the same number. <gasps> That's a double. I can use my doubles fact. Sing the little song. These are the doubles. And remember what it equals. I could go through the double songs if I need to. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. I'll get there. 3 plus 3 is 6. 4 plus 4 is 8. 5 plus 5 is 10, my friend. <gasps> there it was. My doubles back. What did it say? 5 plus 5 is 10, my friend. <gasps> so I'm using my doubles back, and I already know that 5 plus 5 equals... Ten. Yes. Or maybe you're still working on learning your doubles facts because you promise you'll go back and watch that lesson video later. Maybe you're still learning your doubles facts and maybe you just want to quickly use your fingers. That's fine because you see, oh yeah, five fingers plus five fingers equals what? Okay. Ten. Yeah. Many ways you can solve addition problems, many ways you can check them. Just make sure when you're doing your fluency practice, you're carefully reading the sign, making sure you're choosing a strategy that helps you solve the problem. Let's go ahead and try a few more. Okay, Here's our next fluency practice problem. Let's read it and see what it says. Ready, set. Read with me. Ten. Take away. Subtraction. Five equals. Ten. Take away. Five equals. I remember that take away or minus sign means I'm doing subtraction. I could count back. I could make a number line. Or I could use related facts. 
Maybe I remember from the last problem I just solved, rewind if you need to, that 5 plus 5 equals 10. Well, if I remember that, then it's kind of easier for me to remember that 10 take away 5. What's the double part that's left? Uh, How many is left? 5. 5, yeah. If 5 plus 5 equals 10, that's a related fact. 5 plus 5 equals 10. This is a related fact. It's the same numbers. Then 10 take away 5 equals what's left? 5. 5, yes. If you've been working on your doubles facts or just working on addition or subtraction facts at home, maybe with flashcards or just doing more addition and subtraction, and you think you know the problem, trust in those addition and subtraction facts you know, but then you can just go back and double check it. Like I could double check this right here on my fingers real fast. I can go, I have 10 fingers, take away 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 fingers, leaves me with how many more? I say 5. 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And there, I've checked the fact that I knew. Again, there's so many strategies you can use to solve addition and subtraction. Try not to get overwhelmed, but just try the best you can. We're going to come back and do one last problem. Good night. We're back with our last problem that we're going to do in this lesson video, okay? Let's go ahead, reread, or read the problem and see what it says. <laughs> Ready, set, read with me. 9 plus, that's addition, plus... 2 equals. 9 plus 2 equals. Mm -hmm. I see the plus sign. I know I'm going to do addition. Again, I know there's many strategies I could use, but I'm going to choose one that I like, that I want to use. I think this time I'm going to draw a number line and count on. So I'm going to draw my line. And I'm going to go from 1, probably to about 15. That should be plenty to get this done. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I ran out of space. Let's see if this is enough, okay? Remember, doing addition... With the number line, we start at the bigger number, 9. By 9 on the number line, then I move forward towards the bigger number. Because addition, your answer will be bigger. You're adding on, counting on. So I'm at 9. I'm going to move two spaces forward. And I go 1 more, 2 more. And I'm going to circle the number I landed on. Can you see what that is, Kaylee? Eleven, yes. Nine plus two equals eleven. Yay! Yeah. Or I could have also counted on. I could have gone nine, and I could have gone ten, eleven. Yeah. I just double checked it. Okay, everyone. We have just gone through. I know it was quite quick. But this was kind of a quick review of the addition and subtraction strategies we've learned. When you're doing your fluency practice, please, please, please read the sign carefully. Are you doing addition with a plus sign or subtraction with the takeaway sign? And then choose a strategy. Choose a way to solve it that you like and do your best to solve it. If it's really hard for you to remember all these strategies, then just choose one and use it the whole time you do addition, and then choose one you use the whole time for subtraction. And one last tip, if seeing all the problems are a lot for you, take a piece of paper, put it on top of your paper so you're only reading one problem at a time. That way it's not too much for our eyes. I know it can be tricky to go back and forth, 
but just try your best. Take your time. Double check your work. You're doing amazing with our addition and subtraction. Keep it up. Bye, everyone. Have a great rest of your remote learning day. Bye. Take care.